days ago, four or five of us, Jeff here, Vinny, Ian, we did a flight of coffees from Hyperion, uh, which is uh, one of our potential roasters that we'll be going with. We're test running this new coffee grown by Dan, uh, Danilo Barbosa here this next week to see what our customer feedback is. We're curious to see what you guys think of this coffee as you're sipping on it, getting your days going. Uh, so be mindful when we're tasting this coffee. Let our customers know that we are not currently serving the mighty good. Um, we've got five pounds of this that's currently in the grinder. I brewed up the first pot of this here. Um, Danilo Barbosa and his family have been growing uh, coffee in the southwest or the southeast of Brazil in a lovely fresh water area there. Um, while you're tasting this coffee, you'll find notes of dark chocolate. It's got a like particular lovely creaminess, which I think uh, won't, which our customers will end up appreciating long run. Um, it's not a hyper acidic coffee, which is something we could always end up going with. Uh, but I think it's a very forward and welcoming coffee while we're tasting this. Um, Hyperion here, the roaster that we're going with, uh, has been around since 2015, though both of the head roasters over there, Dan and Eric, have been roasting in the area here for more than a decade now. So we brewed this up for the first time as a drip coffee. Last time we did a traditional coffee tasting with it, um, which is something I'd like to do with you guys soon here. Um, it's going to be important uh, to sip on this for a few minutes, honestly. When we're tasting a coffee at the higher temperatures, we're going to be getting more of the aromatics, more of the bitterness, and as it cools down, we start to understand the body more. Uh, you'll get these subtle, like, ripe cherry notes in there as it's cooling. Um, it's an interesting coffee, and I've been sipping on it here for maybe the past 45 minutes, just in one mug, separate from this. And I love the way it cools down, which is going to be something that's important in the setting that we're serving coffee, is our coffee's hot, we cool it down, we top it off and reheat it, you know? So I want to make sure that we're serving a coffee that tastes good at all of those temperatures and doesn't end up getting acidic and sour and uh, you know, just off-putting old-flavored coffee. 